Good morning. Welcome to Brain Good Breakfast. We're back at it with some pous. Time for the road to 50. Currently, we're one Jogo in. <laughs> We've had a streak of some nasty deaths, some tilt, perhaps. Um, but I went over some games with some guys from the, the Michael Bro Discord yesterday. And I think the primary thing that I need to focus on is just slowing down a little bit. Morning, Bogey. Um, and just uh, considering a little bit more carefully each action. So let's do that and see how far we get. Okay, apparently I've left, my, left myself a frog. Um, so my initial reaction is that I want to fire up this lizard. Scout for refresh. Scout for Fogo on these two. If this frog comes down, I'm pretty sad. Well, he is going to come down. Or he'll, I guess he could go over here. Um, what are alternative lines? Um, I can move left. Uh, but then I'm in range of this ghost. Doesn't seem that great. I think this is my only opportunity to get a free one shot off. So I'm probably going to take it. Okay, thorns are nice. That was actually a pretty good outcome. Now, I think... So I either punch the frog or I shoot up again. If I punch the frog, this ghost comes down. And then I can move to the ghost. And the ghost will move up. And I'll be cornered by this frog in here. And at that point, I think I kind of get, I think, I think this is a good time to shoot up into the frog. Okay, well, I got forget, which was nasty, but I also got refresh, which is okay. I think I do that again. What am I scouting for? Attack A? Uh, warping, poisons would be good. Sleep would be good. Kill frog would obviously be good. I think this is correct. I'm not sure why that explosion went off, honestly. So I did get the poison. So now I kind of want to move left um, to start ticking this guy. My only problem is if this lizard moves left. Um, my alternative firing a wand seems pretty bad because um, if I miss I get hit twice I wish I could cast this again uh, so I guess I'll just go left okay so I got lucky there I think I go up again cool so now I can punch the frog or I could Fire this wand right. If I fire the wand right and it does nothing, I probably want to punch the frog actually. I think. I'm not sure whether we should punch the frog or fire right. Firing rights goes for attack A, ghost, ghost convert, racco, shrimp kill. It's quite a few things. I guess let's try that. Ghost convert is good. Earthquake is good. It's great. Okay. So we have parody on this guy. Cool. Okay. That was a bit of a tricky first room, especially with that frog there. So I'm glad we got through it. I'm going to go for scarecrow because it helps me live a little bit more, I think. I want to scout for Bracco, actually. Okay. Okay. So there's definitely no good one-shots here. So we'll just start moving. I can fire this right. 
seems pretty good. Kills the lizard. Um, kills the shrimp. Seems pretty good. Oh, it doesn't kill the shrimp actually because of this. I didn't know about this though, right? I didn't know about that. Um, now do I have fire a wand? To get parody? But I'm only scouting for Fogos. It seems pretty bad. Cool. I can sleep and then double punch here. Okay, so I can shoot this guy for frog kill. I haven't tested that yet. Cool. Oh, niche treasure, lucky. Cool. We're living. Now, what do we want to scout these wands for? What do we want to forget with this forget? I kind of want to forget this uh, Penetrato. Because um, it's not very good with explosion. So let's do that. We'll fire up because we can scout for refresh. It's really cool in this game how um, forget is useful a lot of the time. And I kind of want to scout this for... Um, Refresh, I suppose. I think I could also scout it for Bracco. Really, I think Refresh would be better, though. I could also scout it for Treasure. Mm. Refresh or Treasure? Refresh or Treasure? I think Refresh is better. Go for refresh. Okay. Okay, so we have a frog kill available to us here. I wonder if there's any way to get these frogs to line up. If I move right, this frog is going to move down. So then we'll have like this. And this doesn't seem better, honestly. Actually, this will make a treasure too, because it'll penetrate through here. So that seems pretty good. Okay, we have parity on this fellow. Okay, now I'd really like to get off an earthquake here. Alternatively, let's see. If I back up one. Oh, I can probably get some good ghost conversions here. Ooh, perfect. Okay, great. Um, cool. So ghostly friends, I take one damage, they help me out. Very cool. Okay, so now what are we looking for here? I don't know much about this one. I wonder if it has Bracco. No Bracco. Okay. I actually don't want that. So if I fire it here, I'll get rid of it. And if I, f I fired this up already, right? No, I ha maybe I haven't. Okay, so it does not have... Okay, we do have a treasure on here. That's cool. I think I want to identify something on this one. This this middle one. Um So I think I'm going to and I'm going to fire right to see if we have Bracco on here. Okay, we have Bracco on the scouted one. Okay. So right away we can go left twice. And Earthquake. And we'll take a damage for that. Because this lizard will attack us. I 
actually we can go left twice, lizard kill. An earthquake. Maybe that's good. Or I could lizard kill right now. Oh, but then this lizard's gonna come up. Hmm. My record is 19 Thirloon. 19 Jogos. And then I didn't say it was a short road. Um. Hmm. I kind of like this idea anyway of shooting this like this. And then earthquaking. And then now I can get like this triple reflect, or double reflect in this case. Okay. That's instante. Very cool. Now, if I pick up this key, I think I lose my niche. Or I can shoot this down. I almost feel like I get two niches here. If I could fire, well, this actually is wrap as well, right? How do I how do I get two niches off this? Is it possible? There's a niche here and here and here, but they're all vertically aligned. Oh, there's also a niche here and here. So if I fire right from over here, I'll get two. Oops. Cool. Three chests. That's sweet. Okay. Um, hmm. It's very hard for me to get to the right wall with this wand. I still have my scarecrow. That's cool. Also, I kind of like the idea of firing this down because I'm going to kill this ghost. I guess it's extremely difficult for me to get earthquake off too, right? So maybe actually the thing I want to do is convert this ghost. Because the only space that I get Earthquake off of, um, from is this middle one here. So now I can... can move right. Poison and sleeping this guy. Maybe that's not actually better than just po uh, sleeping him. Hmm. Maybe I just do this. I can do this. This actually gets me a treasure. And parody. Okay, cool. So I can poison this guy. Cool. 
That was a little bit of sticky, actually. It's close. Okay. Kill this frog like so. Grab the treasure. We're out of here. 65 and two juggos. Good choice. Thank you, thank you. Okay. That was good. We went slow. We did good. We're going to do it one more. One more. Okay, so all the guys are far away. So if I move left, I'm more likely to get in range of these shrimp. And if I move down, I'm more likely to get in attack range of these lizards. So I want to attack the lizards. And also I want to fire right. So I'm going to go down. Cool. I'm going to fire at this lizard. And let's go for Bracco. Let's go for Explosion. Let's go for Attack A. Okay. This is where I would go too fast. Because immediately I want to shoot right and that might be the right decision but i want to just check what else could i do i could shoot down for explosion there's still lots of things that are good shooting right um Actually, I think I'm going to shoot down, because these are more of an imminent threat. That's nasty. Okay, so. I can punch shrimp, take damage, punch shrimp, take damage. And then this... Guy will go like one, two, or something, or like one, two, or one, two. He's most likely to end up here. He could end up here. If he ended up here, that'd be very bad. Well, if he ended up there, I would scarecrow punch. So I'd be at two health. I guess that's not so bad. What else can I do? I can shoot up and hope. That seems pretty bad. I can shoot right, but I won't even get shrimp. So probably punch is the right move here. Punch. Punch. Okay. Now do I fire a wand and hope again? Or Scarecrow here. This guy punches me. And then I'm just running, right? That doesn't seem so great. But shooting up only really gives me lizard kill as an out, right? Oh, but if I shoot up and miss, this guy will come down and then I can scarecrow here for two. So maybe that's better. Let's try that. Okay. So we'll take one more damage total. So I want to scout down for healing. And then potentially like duplicate. Oh, niche treasure, cool. Door, okay. Definitely want this gem. And we're just in time. Calculated. Okay. So move here. Okay. So this one, I don't know. It could have Fogo on it even. It could have frog kill, it could have a bunch of stuff. It could have explosion. 
Does have explosion? So, hmm, this lizard right in front of me is my biggest issue by far. What happens if I go, if I, actually if I shoot this down, I teleport here, and I could, I think this is good. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay. This I can make treasure with. It's got Fogo as well. Oof, that's kind of nasty. Is there any way I can sh fire at this lizard without getting in range? Like, I can go left and punch punch, but then I'm at 1 HP. Oh, I should fire this up. I lose parity, but I get the damage. Now I can gain parity back with this. That was dangerous actually, because this could have explosion on it, I think. Not sure I can get that book. Nope, I cannot. Not without burning scarecrow. Alas. Okay, so if I move left and shoot down with attack A. I'll kill this ghost and explode that. I can teleport this guy away and do one damage to something. Okay. I, don't, I really don't want to take damage. So I'm thinking about moving. Hmm, what should we do here? I'm so low on HP. I'm very scared of dying here. It's so hard to get shots off in these narrow corridors. I guess I haven't found frog kill yet, so if I shoot this like this, it scouts for frog kill? Poison? Sure. I'll take it. So is this Scarecrow time? Probably, right? Because now I can scout this frog. Cool. So I know this doesn't have heal on it, because I tried that last floor. I can scout for a fresh on this one. Actually, I actually know that it doesn't have explosion on it too. Okay, thorns. Kalaro, okay. This is a little sketchy, I'm low on health. Could easily die.
So actually, if I move left twice, then firing right kills this lizard. If I move right, it does not. If I fire th this wand left, it comes down here. So no effect, basically. So I think I do want to move left, left, and then kill this lizard. And give myself an escape hatch, I guess. Now, if I do this, it's going to hit the ghost. And poison. And the shrimp and poison. And do two damage to random things. That seems pretty cool. Oh, I killed the ghost first, so it didn't do the second one. That's a little bit of a bummer. Okay, sure. But if I fire this down. So I'm either firing these. I have, I have a couple options. I can fire this first down and this second down. This is more likely to have rooster kill on it. Or no, I, I don't think you can have two animal kills on it, right? Because hmm. if I do this second... Yeah, if I do this second, it's going to kill this guy. Eventually, it'll kill him. So, if I go for that key, where do I get trapped? There's probably lots of ways I get trapped, right? But I really want that health. Hmm. Let's see. I don't know how many turns I've done, but I feel like it's a bunch, actually. I could grab the key, too, and then get um, wrecked. Um, when this opens up, and then the frog goes like, boop, boop. And that's basically checkmate once he's here. That just seems bad. Okay, I think we're leaving. Shoot, that frog is just one off me being able to mirror him. I can go down one. Kill the frog. Now one line is go down one, fire this right. I have to fire this down, actually. It seems pretty cool. Get some random damage. That works out. Oh, that worked out even better than I thought. So now, if I go one down. And then teleport out. I get two teleport damages off. Sure. 
Seems cool. Okay, I got another health. Thank goodness. One health is so scary, man. I can Polaro here. I really want that gem. I guess I could. I feel like I've checked this for refresh already. Yeah, okay. Are you talking about the last floor? Uh. Uh, or this floor. Zone of 4 or 5, Thurloon? Well, in any event, um, that does it. Uh, we actually got in two pretty sticky situations, um, and came out both. Um, well, the problem is... If he's not at parity with me, then I can't... It's a little hard to describe um, in words, but I can't control his movements. Um, so if he came out on the odd turn rather than the even turn, so it's kind of a 50-50 flip whether I can get that potion. And at the end of the day, it's only worth one point. Um, it is worth a health, and I was super low on health coming into this room, but I thought that it was better to not have the health and to go for... And to not do the coin flip. But yeah. The other thing is I wasn't so sure how many turns I had spent in the room already. So I didn't know whether I could like get the key and go to the right before he came out. But yeah, that'll do it. Uh, what did we miss? We missed uh, this thing, which you can only scout with. Oh, yeah, we did, we did good, actually. This had wall break. Yeah. We got most of the important stuff. Uh, have an awesome day, you guys. And we'll see you tomorrow. Talk to you later.